Keep watching Charis TV. Brother, you dream yourself preaching. Yes. All the time. Every time. Every time. Yes. You see yourself holding mic. That's true. It will happen. <laughs> Today you broke a spirit of poverty. Amen. Amen. You were praying against that. You were praying against a lack. So it's broken today Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to congratulate Amen. you. I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God for your life. Congratulations. Do you believe God can promote you? Yes, do you believe? Huh? I do. Do you believe God can make you a coach of a professional team? Do you believe that? I do. I prophet. want to pray for you. If you say you believe, I want to pray for you. I believe, prophet. You believe? Yes. You can be a professional coach. Yes. Can I pray for you? Please. Huh? Yes, prophet. Don't forget me. I won't, prophet. Let me ask you again. Don't forget me. I won't forget you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I've done this to many people. I know what God wants to do. I know. You know? I'll tomorrow, I'll tomorrow, totally million. Even if you forget us. I'm going to say that. Which, which team are you coaching now? Uh, we have got so many people that are occupying positions then they are not Christians. This man is a football coach. I believe he can coach Chiefs and Sundowns. I believe so. How many of you believe? Do you believe? I'll not do me alone. Even though you don't believe. You believe? Yeah. We are coming to you. Do you believe? Yeah. I say, do you believe? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man today. Oh, Jesus, you are the one that can open doors for people. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Elevate this man to a higher position in the name of Jesus. Thank you for making him an example to many that are here in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by the man of God who ministered upon his life. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Alima Asha. I'm coming from Pretoria, Lotus Garden. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simono located you and spoke to you. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. He said, um, I'm the coach of one of the team. So I, I can confirm the prophecy because I manage four teams and they are playing professional league. And what else did the prophet say to you? What prayer did he declare upon your life? He said, it's paying for me that I can be one of the big coaches in South Africa. Given the, the teams, the big team players from deep rural areas, I look at the players and I give the teams in Vodacom, in Super League, in Kassel. So I'm their manager. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life and declared that he's praying that God chooses you to coach bigger teams? I think. God times the best, so that's all what I can see. I can see the grace of God for what I'm doing, yes. And how do you feel that today he located you and spoke to you? I feel honored that like the prophet said we are the chosen one. Where is the father of your children? 
Oh. I don't it know. Was someone did. left you. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing a man that has ran away from you. Yes. Huh? Yes, Professor. You want him to come back? No. Or you are tired? I'm tired. Huh? Yes, I'm so done. don't worry. You know, God will heal your heart. Okay. Because you have been struggling a lot since yes. this man ran away from you. Yes. You are failing to have peace. Yes. And it's almost difficult for you to move forward. It's true. So don't worry. God will give you peace this week. Thank you. Thank God you bless Lord. you. Thank you. My sister. Yes, I saw you. You are under attack. There's a demon that has been fighting you from young age. Amen. Because when you were young, uh, people play with your life. Yes. And it's now true. you are like this now. I'm not seeing any issue of marriage here. Mm. Huh? Yes, it's true. And it started from way back there. There's a demon on you. Here in your back here, you always feel pain here. Yeah, yeah. Huh? In your on bag. On my soldier, yeah. yes. Huh? On my soldier, yeah. Yeah, it's like there's a mark there. Yes. Huh? Can you just come here? You're coming here for the first time. You've been here before. Let me touch there where this this mark. Yes. So, what devil has stolen from you is recovered. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor. Huh? Yeah. Where is your wife? Bring your wife. Hmm. Mama, you must pray. You hear me? You must pray for your health. You hear me? Yes. Mm, the enemy is after you. So I believe if you pray, you know, this plan of Satan won't prevail. Because I'm just seeing sometimes you, your body becomes mixed up. Yes, that's true. You need to pray. You hear me? Yes. You did operation? Yes. Huh? Yes. You did operation? Yes. You must pray. No, because I just see you mixed up. You know, this thing can take your life. So I believe after I pray for you, you people, God will save you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my mother, who is located during the service by Prophet Andrew Simon, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Mboning. I'm coming from Bechekas. So today during the service, Prophet Andrew Simono spoke to you. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. A uh, prophet called my husband and he asked, asked myself, where is your wife? Then I came. So he told my husband that I'm not praying and it's true. My husband was telling me this morning that you are no longer praying. I can see you are lazy. It is true. He said I, I must pray because my body is always mixed up. And it's true. Even today before deliverance i was feeling like i wanted to go home before the prophet came in but now i know i'm delivered and i'm healed i'm free i believe i'm free and how has the issue that the man of god spoke to you about been affecting you it has been affecting me because he was telling he was talking about operation i had operation where I, when i give birth to my second born and that operation is giving me problem but today i believe i'm healed because i'm always complaining even in the house sometimes i can't even cook because i'll be having pains everywhere but now i believe i'm healed after the prayer then i'm delivered how do you feel that today the man of god located you and ministered upon your life I was surprised, but I, at the same time I was happy because I believe it was uh, it was God that speaks to my life. It was in Him. It's, he was God was speaking through Him to my life. I believe I'm healed from today. Even even I, I can I can no longer feel the pain. I'm feel, I'm healed. Yes. Men are suffering outside. You don't want a child? Huh? 
You want God to give you a child? Huh? When? Now? Brother, you want a child now? Huh? I pray that you must be pregnant now. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? And stop think, thinking that you'll fail to be pregnant. Children are from God. Amen. Amen. Everything is from God. Amen. So now, sometimes you cry for a child now, you don't know that God is preparing you to conceive a prophet. When you are in a hurry to conceive a drunkard. You, hear, you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Huh? You must encourage her. You tell her the time of God is the best. So as I'm praying for you, your time to conceive will come. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. And when you conceive, the cry of this man, you know, because he has been crying to be used by God, it will reflect more on the child. Because sometimes we have our own wishes, right? You know, God has got his own plans. Amen. His cry of being a prophet, it will reflect more on the child that God can give you. Amen. Are you not looking for a child? I am looking for a child. So now, this man, God, there's no way he can give me a child because he's pray. You understand? Lift yours. Lord, now, or Lord, now you are doing this thing of you are making him to cook. No. <laughs> so I want to pray for you. A child will come. searching for a child? Huh? Over a year. Over a year now. Yes. So your time has come. Thank you. You are not a barrier. Thank you. And God has anointed this man. Thank you. must believe him. He must believe in submission. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You must believe in submission. I say this thing to people that if Jesus could kneel in front of John the Baptist, Amen. we have got so many young people that are giving us problems now. Mm. They think to start a church, it means it's success. There's no money in the church. There's no money. There's money in Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you, there's no money where in the church, the church doesn't have money. It's the faithfulness and the hunger to follow Jesus that you'll be paid. I call it paid. God will pay you. Definitely, he will do that. So now, if you teach yourself to, that I want to submit, it will work for you. Yes. It, no, this will stop a lot of churches that are necessary. Because we've got so many churches, every corner. Just by a name, you can hear this man didn't even hear God, this one. <laughs> by just the name of the church, you can just assume, yeah, there's problems here. I'm sure you're hearing what I'm trying to tell you. Huh? God bless you.